Hey guys, welcome back to the next product research video. So for this product research technique, we're going to be using Google Trends. Now, Google Trends is a great tool to search for a broad topic and find related queries later. So what you're going to do is enter generic keywords here. And from there, we're going to validate the idea with watch count or Amazon. So right here, you want to enter a really, really broad keyword. So anything goes here as well, like really random words um, can lead you to like great products. Um, so earlier we found some wooden clocks. So I'm just going to enter like a really generic uh, wooden um, search term. So here you'll be able to see the interest um, over time for this keyword. So wooden's a super generic term. So not much um, changes here. Um, you'll be able to also um, filter this by country or worldwide. And for the time period, so past 12 months or the past five years. And um, it also helps that you change this web search to Google Shopping, right? Because you want to find ideas on what to sell. So um, let's just do Google Shopping for this one. And here um, you can see uh, related queries. So this is the part you want to pay attention to. Now, if you find that the related queries is a bit too empty, um, feel free to just go back and change this to web search. Because again, um, this is just um, you know looking for search trends on Google. And the idea here is just to go to related queries just to find some ideas that you can validate later. So here we see um, on the second page, um, wooden watches. So let's just go to watch count real quick. Um, just to check on that idea. So wooden watch. So as you can see, this right here is a good item, um, 970 watchers, it's a wooden watch and um, there seems to be a couple of different wooden watches that are doing quite well as well. So this one has 700 watchers, 634 watchers. So yeah, um, just like that, you know, you, you'll have another great idea to put in your sheet and potentially sell. So you can see how a really generic term like wooden can suddenly lead you to a really more niche item that you can potentially sell, right? Like wooden and you go to related queries and it'll bring you to a, you know, a related word to word uh, wood, wooden that you probably would not have thought of, right? And this is backed by data from Google. So in some sense, you're already validating that there's already um, interest in this product. So yeah, um, what you're going to do is just uh, really just come up with random keywords to search. Um, anything goes here, there's no right or wrong. So um, for example, early, earlier I stumbled across some um, mermaid theme store. So let's give that a try. So mermaid. Um, again, like um, if you can't find anything um, useful here, um, feel free to go ahead and change um, these uh, filters right here. So let's just have a look first. Um, so nothing too much here. So let's just change this to shopping. Okay, so we have an interesting idea right here. Silicon mermaid tails for kids, right? Mermaid backpack. So these are ideas that Google is suggesting to you. And again, you can use these ideas and put them back into watch count for eBay or just straight up Amazon. So let's just go to Amazon and um, yeah, just search for um, what we found earlier. So mermaid tail. So wow, there's a ton of mermaid tail selling on um, Amazon. So this must be a really, really good seller. Um, let's see. So this is selling for $34. And um, yeah, it uh, looks like, like a really established brand. They must be selling pretty well. 
Um, so again, you want to just go for related queries here to find interesting ideas to put in back into watch count or Amazon, right? So let's just do one last one just to show you um, another example. Um, let's do unicorn, right? Like some interesting keyword, like just, you know, out of the blue random keywords. So again, let's have a look. So unicorn bed set, interesting. Unicorn party ideas, right? And let's just um, change this to web search just, just to see. So fat unicorn cake, so that's not really useful. But um, yeah, let's just try um, unicorn um, bidding on watch count. Okay, so yeah, we have another great idea here. So Unicom Bedding led us to um, these products. So these are um, like a bedding set for your room, selling for $80 with 142 watches, right? It's a great, um, great pricing with a ton of margins to be made. And again, we found this through just putting random keywords here and looking at related queries. So this is another great tool to brainstorm new ideas and again, make sure you validate these with uh, Watch Count or Amazon. And uh, yeah, just uh, repeat the process with as many um, random keywords as possible so that you have uh, a ton of great ideas in your worksheet.